So to position a resident from supine, which is lying on their back, to slide line, we need four pillows. So one that's underneath their head, and then two other support pillows and a smaller one to go under their arm. So I'm gonna knock on the door and wash my hands. Hi, Leah, Myra, I'm here to move you um, from your back over to your right side, is that okay? All right, I'm gonna provide for privacy here. He's going on to his right side, so I'm gonna raise the side rail on that side of the bed. Okay, I'm gonna raise the bed up to my working height. I shouldn't be in contact with any bodily fluids, so I don't need to wear gloves for this. Okay. So Lee, first I'm gonna have you scoot over towards me. I'm gonna use the lift sheet, so on three, you can move towards me. One, two, three. Okay. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't roll over onto his downside arm, so I'm gonna move that away from his body. And then I'm gonna lift this knee, which will just help them roll a little bit better. I'm gonna keep my pillows close here. Okay, and I moved him over towards me so that when he rolls, he still stays in the middle of the bed. Okay, we're gonna have you roll towards its side rail on your right side on three. One, two, three. Okay, are you doing okay? Okay, we'll have you grab that side rail if you can. And then the first pillow I'll put this one in front. The bigger pillow will go behind his back and we want to make sure that gets down right behind him so he can't roll back onto his back again. Okay and we want to think about where there's going to be pressure so anywhere there's a joint on top of a joint so like his knees and his ankles we need to make sure that that's cushioned as well. Lee I'm going to pick up your top leg and put a pillow in there okay. Okay, are you feeling okay so far? So I'm gonna go to the end of the bed and look where he is, and he's a little bit close to that side of the bed. So I'm gonna use the lift sheet and have him scoot back a little bit. Lee, I'm gonna move you back towards me so you stay, so you stay in the middle of the bed on three. One, two, three. Okay, everything still feel okay? All right. I don't need to raise the side rail on this side because we have the pillow behind him. So he shouldn't roll back. And then I'm gonna place this last pillow between his elbow and his rib so there's no bone on bone contact there. And make sure that that's comfortable. Okay, does everything feel okay? I'm gonna check your pillow for your head here. That looks okay. And then I'm gonna take one last look from the bottom of the bed Make sure that his body is in straight alignment and then he's still in the middle of the bed. And then I'm gonna put the side rail down. And let's lower your bed back down. Okay, make sure that's locked. We'll get you covered up again. Okay. And then I need to make sure that he can reach his call light and so I wanna bring this behind the bed or underneath, just so it's not over his neck. So he's got that there. And then we'll open the door or open the curtain. Okay, and wash my hands. Um, Repositioning people every two hours is the standard of care. So if you're doing that every two hours, it doesn't need to be documented. If somebody does have skin concerns and they have hourly repositioning, then you need to write down the time that you repositioned them and what position you went to. So in this instance, I would say at 1300, I moved Lee from supine to right side line.